Hey everybody, it's Wendy, welcome. So excited you're here with me on Color Me Monday. I'm featuring the Christmas in the Making stamp set today and we're gonna make this super cute card. I just wanted to give you some simple tips on um, coloring to add some pattern and texture. So before I even started coloring, you can see that I tried several different things. I tried Prismacolor pencil, and I tried two different types of blends before I decided on the colors I was going to go with. Now, if I sound a little stuffy, it's because I am. <laughs> I'm fighting a cold and um, I'm hoping to feel better soon. I came down with it after coming back from a trip with my husband. And I'm actually recording this before I leave on another trip. And so I'm really hoping by tomorrow morning I wake up feeling 100%. So I'm stamping in Memento Tuxedo Black ink for coloring my with my blends. And then I have some real red ink here that I'm going to stamp the sentiment. I stamped the sentiment first so that if I messed it up, I wouldn't have done a whole bunch of coloring and have to go back and redo it all. <laughs> okay, so I'm using the bronzer for her hair and, <clears throat> excuse me, and then I'm using Cherry Cobbler Dark for her um I don't know what you call that. It's like a headband. And then I'm going to color in her pants in light cherry cobbler. And this is the first little trick I wanted to show you. This video is sped up four times the normal speed because honestly, um, this was a 20 minute video coloring at normal speed. And I figured you would appreciate it to be a little faster. So all the stuff that I wanted red, I went ahead and colored first, and then I'm going in with my dark cherry cobbler marker to make polka dots on her pants. So it's a tone on tone look, but it adds a little bit of texture and depth to her pants. And on that back leg, I ran over that with the cherry cobbler marker as well. Now this little tip right here, I colored the pink pirouette on her face first, and then colored over her face with the ivory marker. That allows her to have rosy pink cheeks. I did try doing that with the ivory marker first and then adding the pink pirouette on top, but then I noticed that I would have to go back over it again with my ivory marker, which then would cause her face to be darker than her hands and legs. The ivory marker is a little tricky. It does kind of go on with a quite a brown tone, but as it dries, it sets back quite nicely. Uh, for the kitty cat, I colored in light crumb cake the whole cat, and then I went over it with the dark crumb cake, making little lines on his back and tail on his face, and a little bit of dark on his chest. And then I colored over the entire kitty cat again, using the um, light crumb cake. On her sweater, I'm using the light smoky slate all over the um, most of her sweater, and then the dark smoky slate on her neck and her... Um, the bottom and on her sleeves. I'm taking the dark cherry cobbler and coloring in, um, I had colored in just right in a few areas there where the bow, the kitty's bow was. Okay, so now I'm going to layer down some Around the World Designer Series paper. This piece is cut at three and three quarters by five, and this piece was cut at three and a half by four and a half, I believe. And I'm offsetting them. <clears throat> and then my colored piece is cut, I believe, at like three by four, maybe. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, that's like close. So I put dimensionals on the back and voila, I'm done. This um, coloring did not take very long, but I feel like it's really pretty and definitely makes a beautiful Christmas card. So here it is all finished and I kind of zoomed in there so that you could see her rosy cheeks and the kitty has dimension and her pants have the polka dots. Really, really simple tips to bring your coloring to the next level. If you want to see other coloring videos for me, you can click on either one of them that you see here. I'm kind of obsessed with the blends right now, but I still will use my Copics and my Prismas and watercolors and stuff. But you can click on these and also click on the little circle that has my face in it to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All the supplies are listed below the video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I will talk to you again soon.